Now, real quick, one of the Ninja Militia hit me up on Instagram and said, Thesis, is this not the most perfect kit to give away for the Ninja Militia? I said, why is that, bro? He goes, because it's the fucking katana. Damn solid point. Thank you for pointing that shit out. What's good, YouTube? It is your boy Thesis, aka Thesis himself, from Vaping with Thesis Ass. Right, God bless it. Now, look, today we've got the Katana by iJoy. This kit is by far and away the most comprehensive kit I've ever put my hands on. It's the most well rounded and most 360 encompassing fucking kit that I've ever seen. With that being said, I'm extremely excited to tell y'all, Ninja Kitties, that this kit right here, brand new, untouched, and unopened, is going to be going right into the Patreon giveaway box for the first Thursday of November. The giveaways take place the first Thursday of every month with myself and my fiance. Mandy, aka Finance Mandy. With that being said, my Ninja Kitties, huge shout out to the Patreon page. Y'all are the ones who allow me to do this for a living. Thank you so much. With that being said, if you do want to become a producer of this channel, you can do so by hitting me up on patreon.com slash thesis himself. With that being said, today's comment question of the day is this. Where did you purchase your first vape kit? Was it a brick and mortar store, tobacco shop, gas station, what have you? Okay, so my Ninja Kitties, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at thesis himself. With that being said, fuck the small talk. Let's go and get into the iJoy Katana. <clears throat> Welcome to Up Close and Personal with your boy Thesis. Now, real quick, today we have got the iJoy Katana Universal Kit. Damn it, that's a mouthful. And of course, insert the obligatory, that's what she said here. Now, before we get into it, the one you see on my left is gonna be the unboxing one. This one will be untouched and unused and given away specifically to the Patreons on the Patreon page. With that being said, thank you so much. Hashtag Ninja Militia. Y'all motherfuckers are the reason why I'm able to do this. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and delve into it. Okay, so real quick, the one on the right is the one I had already boxed or already unboxed previously, but we're going to go ahead and do the brand new one and just check out it. Bam skis. Look at this exclusive ass ribbon that's going to be included with that. Katana, thesis himself, hashtag Ninja Militia. If you do want the one that's autographed, let my ass know. If you don't, you can use the blank, you know, blank canvas because it's pretty like that. Look at that. I like how it says mirror black and it's pearl white. You can definitely tell it's a, it's a review version. There it is. Whoo. Oh, good God. I don't even want to touch them. Let's just go ahead and go over it one by one, all right? P.S. I've been using this bad boy now for a few days. I'm in fucking love. The battery... You stay put, Katana Artie. Yeah, I got fucking bone to pick with you, son. This has been by far and away one of the most impressive kits I've had in my hands since day one. And I mean that literally in the most complimentary way I can possibly do it. It is fucking amazing. Now, granted, it's, it's kind of like that old saying goes, uh, Jack of all trades, master of none. Let's see what you got on the bottom of the box. Bam, warranty card. iJoy's always been pretty good about their warranties. Um, they did send me out a new tank at ECC, which is really, uh, uh, it, it was good. It, one of them came broken, which actually ended up by being an issue with their quality control. And they sent me out a new tank, which is great. Thank y'all, Ninja Keys. This is exactly what the manual looks like. It's not in full color, but they went, they went in the way of saving money. I can appreciate that shit. Now, speaking of the colors, this kit does come in several different colors. I think it's like, uh, I think it's four of them, four or five. I'll go ahead and show you the picture now. Bam, look at how pretty they are. By the way, the paint, on this thing is phenomenal. I dropped this on concrete in the shop. No chipping. This isn't enamel. It's not like a regular paint that would rub off. Enamel tends to be a better paint than anything else. Now this goodie box is by far and away the biggest goodie box I've ever seen. The amount of shit you get in here is ridiculous. Whoo! All right. We have organic cotton, Japanese cotton, which uh, is for the RDA. Uh, I got a bone to pick with that. I'll show you guys in a little bit. This is one of the MTL coils you get. Both the MTLs included with this kit is by far and away some of the best MTLs I've ever experienced. You got all these O-rings, including a tank saver, which I do appreciate, a braided micro USB coil. This little coil right here, this one is the one I'm, I'm extremely impressed by. Bam, of course we do have a spare sub-ohm tank, which is just a straight glass. I don't like straight glass. I'm always a fan of bubble. I prefer bubble. I think bubble is way more superior than a bullshit ass straight glass. However, I do see the point of someone preferring a straight glass. And in this one, I forgot to mention, these are the coils for the RD you see those flat ribbons, those uh, mesh coils? They're aight. They're not great. They're not perfect. They're aight. I do get hot spots, but we'll get into that when we actually talk about the tanks. This system shines beyond any other sub ohm tank I've used in recent memory. This specific set of coils that it comes with, the stock one that's already in there, this one is the, what the fuck, the, the KM1, this one, the M1, versus the M3. It's got three coil heads in there. These coils, and I've used both, are fucking insane. Insanity at its finest. The flavor is so accurate that it. I have a hard time wanting to switch between this one and the other sub tanks I'm reviewing right now. This one has me by the fucking balls. If it wasn't for
for the one flaw that the sub ohm tank has and that's this we got all this shit we got a tool of course that's going to be for your rda and of course you have extra coils for each and every one of the tanks in here again something i hugely appreciate the fact that they include all that stuff for around what i'm assuming is going to be like a hundred hundred and twenty dollar kit maybe a little bit less that is perfection can't ask for much more much less set that shit aside let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what you get if this isn't a beginner vapors wet dream i don't know what is this is exactly what you want to see when it comes to a universal kit if you're going to put that name universal you best make it universal and that's what this is now let's just kind of go down the line as you receive it this is here this is there this is like that bam so the mod itself is fucking flawless it's phenomenal this is not a tutorial but i will show you guys uh the different modes that it's got and one the one i've been using the most is the mtl mode specifically because of the elf bam one two three mtl you cycle through it, it's the bypass, it acts like a mech mod. Pod, that's gonna be for this piece right here, that's the VPC, if you get the pod portions of it, you can throw it in there, you can throw whatever pod you want, and that's actually what this is here, it's like a pod reservoir. Power, that's gonna be your wattage, temp control, of course, puff reset, P mode, and then of course back to MTL. We'll save the best for last, second best, third best, fourth best. This one is my biggest disappointment only for one reason and it's the same issue i had on the revenger or avenger baby what i forget the fucking name of the diamond i think that's what was the diamond vpc kit this thing the diamond vpc kit this one was a phenomenal vape it was excellent mtl great flavor the problem was is that the sheath this thing does not hold these pods into place for more than 30 seconds i flick it a couple of times and it's already out those two divots that you can barely see on camera right there let me grab my loop quick bam got the loop bellamo 10 times that little divot that you can see, the little circle. That shit is all that's holding this in, two of them. One on either side. I don't like it, I don't enjoy it. All I have to do is drop it one time. I won't even drop it on concrete or anything like that. Look at that, I can't even get it on. I'll drop it, already pops out. I don't like little stuff like that. Now, if we're talking about performance, two milliliters, definitely a great solid capacity, especially for an MTL like this, adjustable airflow on the bottom base. I fucking love it. The way you change the coils is you simply pop that out. You fill it with this little black cap. Let me see, grab my pliers. I mean, my tweezers rather. Perfection. Nice, solid, big hole. You can even use an eyedropper, though I do recommend using a unicorn bottle. This one is solid because of this portion specifically. The MTL on it is good. The best MTL I've had out of this whole kit, we'll get to in a sec. But this one has been great. It's been decent. The problem is, is these two little divots. With that aside, fuck this one, we'll set it there. Now the second weakest link is gonna be the Katana RDA. Now I'm not judging this RDA by using my own coils. I've been judging it, using it specifically how it was received. So I received it with those mesh coils right there. Again, not sure if I'm doing it 100% correct, although I've tried it literally as many ways as I possibly can. Making the, the mesh round, making it square, making it fucking flat, taking it out, putting the cotton in first, and then folding it. That's the way I've got it right here. The flavor is good. It's not great. It's just good. And the mesh coils you receive with it are decent. It's not something like profile status. It's not something where I would be like, oh my goodness, I'm losing my mind over. It's just decent. I don't like how many hot spots I've been getting on these coils specifically, though. Um, and it's something I just can't seem to get rid of. By the way, now that I got the RDA on it, I wanna show you guys that the MTL wattage, the highest it goes is 15 watts. That's something where it protects you from actually uh, burning your coil in the MTL tanks. I fucking love that feature. One, two, three. Let's go and go to the power right there. 14 watts. Let's go and start her off around 81. That's its max wattage, by the way. Yeah, you see the hot spots develop? I don't like that shit whatsoever. Now again, it's not gonna be the same experience um, if you use your own coils. If you use your own coils, it's gonna be a much better experience. I do like the top cap, the top chimney is rounded off. Rounded off chimney is gonna give you better flavor overall. 810 drip tip, O-ring is on the inside of the top of the chimney. And now I've been able to fit roughly four to five milliliters. I think my max was six when it started to leak a little bit. Six milliliters is a solid size uh, deck on the bottom. Yeah, the flavor is decent, it's not perfect. Now let's go ahead and get into the point where it shines. This is where the kit really begins to come out on its own. These two pieces alone and this mod, if they just sent out the kit like this, this would still be worth the money, in my opinion. You're still getting the battery, the mod, the MTL, and your sub ohm device. That all in itself is a perfect encompassing kit in my humble opinion. These ones here I look at as a bonus. Now the sub ohm tank is like I was saying earlier with the coils, the fucking coils are perfect. I would not ask for anything different from iJoy for them to alter their uh, the coil lineup that they already have. They have a super solid coil lineup. If you haven't seen on their site, here's a picture. Bam! 
bam. They have a huge selection of different coils for different palettes. Now I do want to stress again that I'm not being paid for this review. I'm being as honest as I possibly can be. Right now I'm rocking the superb custard. This custard I know very well inside and out. I've tried it on dozens of different tanks, RDAs and so on. I know exactly how this liquid is supposed to taste. With that being said, this sub -ohm tank does it justice. The airflow on this sub -ohm tank is perfect for my personal vaping style. I do like it a little bit wider open, but with that being said, this one does have just enough restriction to let you know that you're not breathing out of a snorkel. Take a listen. Oh, it's perfect. Now I will say yes, it is a little bit loud, but that's something I'm willing to live with when the flavor is this good. 810 drip tip, and of course we do have the O-rings on the actual tip itself. The one flaw of the sub -ohm tank is this. I fucking hate slide to open sub -ohms. When this opens up in your pocket, and believe me, it will, it's gonna leak like a sieve. That shit is impossible to live with in my experience. Aside from that one flaw, I would say that this tank is virtually perfect for this kit. Now this is where the whole kit starts to come together in my opinion. Now I know a lot of you MTLers out there are super particular about your vapes and that I can relate to. This, in terms of an MTL, is what I would call virtual perfection. I haven't had an MTL experience like this since the Nautilus. The Nautilus is, in my opinion, one of the greatest tanks in vaping history, one of the best tanks in vaping history, specifically for MTL. And I would say that the ELF meets or exceeds my expectations when it comes to that being the particular uh, starting point. This ELF tank is by far and away the best MTL I've had in a kit form, I wanna say since day one. I can't think of anything that, that has an MTL quite like this or quite as tight as this. I wanna show you guys the tiny little holes. It goes all the way down to 0.5 millimeters. Look at that you can barely see that hole all the way back up to what looks to be about one or two millimeters right there. Listen to how nice and high quality that click sounds. Good God, I love that shit. All right, so let's pop it on here real quick. One, two, three, bam. Set it into MTL mode. Bring this down to roughly nine watts. Good God, if you're talking about throw hit, and you're talking about self-vaping. I don't know that you're gonna get much better than this tank specifically. If they included this tank, for example, with the VPC Diamond Kit, this bad boy, this would have been a perfect combination. If they would just throw this little guy in with the rest of this kit, I'd be even willing to pay 20 bucks more, maybe 30 bucks more for the whole kit. Fuck, this is a perfect match made in heaven. Bitch, it's okay, some other truckers. Now, just to reiterate, my absolute favorite piece of gear in this entire kit is gonna be this Elf. Running at two mil capacity, not a bad size tank. The way you fulfill it is like this. Schwega bamps, schwega bums. Just like that. Liquid on the side, you pop it back in. This is gonna be perfect for your Nick salts. Built-in drip tip, I like that a lot. Less shit to think about. And now that I'm using it on the big hole, you can actually pull a really restricted lung hit off it. Not bad, let me see. Yup. Woo! Bitches, okay, some other truckers. Now, with that being said, let's go and get back to regular view, son. Mm. Welcome back to regular view. Mm. My final summation is this. The iJoy Katana kit is by far and away the most comprehensive kit that I've ever put my hands on. Now, you ever hear the saying, Jack of all trades, master of none? That's the fundamental feeling I get with this kit. Now, as great as it is, it has its flaws. The perfect example is this little fucking, this little sheath has two little divots that you're gonna barely be able to see on camera. Two little divots on either side. That's basically what's holding in this pod system. I wish that this had magnetics or, ma or uh, magnets on the bottom on, on, of either side and something a little bit more, I don't know, girthy, hardy, something that just makes it stick. Because if I can flick it and it pops out like that, that's gonna fall out in your pocket. That's not something I want someone who's just getting into vaping to experience. If you're starting vaping, you're, you've never vaped before, you say say you're going from cigarettes to, to, a, to a mod or something like this, you're not gonna wanna have little frustrations like that, especially when the performance of, this, of the pot system like this, the MTL system like this is so good, but then you become hung up on something so silly like that. That shit pisses me off. I wish there was a, either a screw in or something that would work with that to make sure it didn't move. The performance of it is fucking phenomenal, especially with the two mils, oh, perfect size. Now let's keep on the MTL theme. This little elf, this, whoever designed the elf, give them fucking credit. I joy, I want you to sit the person down that designed this and tell them they did a good fucking job. Like it's, it's a phenomenal vape. MTL for me, it's, it's near and dear to my heart, though I don't do it quite as often unless I'm out and about, say, I don't know, fucking playing bingo, I'm in the shop. The places where, where you don't want other people to see you vape, basically a stealth vape. This is that setup right there. This little thing has flavor, it has the throw hit. MTLers are by far and away the most pickiest vapors I've ever fucking met, period. Which they have a right to be. If you find a system that works for you, you don't want to deviate from that system for the simple fact that it works and you're off cigarettes, right? That's the whole purpose. The adjustable airflow, the little clicks, listen to this. 
I don't know if you can hear that. I'm hoping the microphone can pick that up. Those little clicks are so fucking satisfying. It's insane. Let me go and take a hit off of it once. I love how tiny it is. It's adorable. Kind of looks like a vibrator, if we're being completely honest. 10 watts, 1.26 ohms, perfection. Ready? Mm. Mm. Whew. Any tighter and it would be a virgin. Let's open it all the way wide open. out of a fucking MTL. Let's go ahead and do an MTL hit on the second to largest hole. Mm. Oh my goodness. Now again, two mils, it's a perfect size. You can't go wrong with that. Now, if you already own something like this, where the fuck did it go? If you own this little baby, what the fuck's it called? Look how perfect this shit meshes together. I Joy, I don't know if you guys did this on purpose, but it's fucking flawless. This should have been the tank that this came with initially. Good God, if y'all sold this together, this would be the most perfect system I've ever seen. Mm. Their MTL is so flawless, I can't find a problem with this tank. None. No gurgling, no spitbacks. The coils that it comes with are perfection. That's enough drooling over the fucking elf. The elf is dope as shit. Whoo! If I were to boil this down into two pieces that were, that are gonna be worth the price, this elf tank and the Katana sub -ohm tank, both alone, you could have not included it. See, that's what I'm talking about. If they didn't include these two pieces, it would still be worth the money. But the fact that you get these in there just to toy around with, it's just a bonus. It's like the cherry on top. The airflow is muted. It's not too loud. It's fucking perfect. Except for the goddamn top cap. Who, who is telling people to do this? You gotta stop. You gotta stop telling people to do that shit. It pisses me off. This is not a good system. If you're an MTLer and you want to also delve into the RDA systems, you wanna also delve into sub ohm tanks, this is the kit to get. If you're someone who specifically wants a sub ohm tank and a mod ready to go, get the fucking Katana kit, not the universal kit, just the regular Katana kit. It's like 60 bucks on pre order right now, pre sale right now. This, I'm not 100% certain on what it's gonna cost, probably closest to 100 bucks. Is it worth it? 100% in my humble opinion. You're getting a fucking mod, built-in battery, 3000 milliamp hour battery, solid battery life, by the way, at full fucking tilt. 81 watts, I was rocking this all fucking day, no problem. It's worth the money, it's worth the shot, in my opinion. Watch these clouds once. The fucking supreme ass custard right there is delicious and it's because of these coils. That is exactly how that custard is supposed to taste. These coils deliver a perfect flavor profile in my opinion. All in all, on Thesis's patented finger of capability scale, what would I give this entire kit? 8.7 and I'm super confident with that rating because if it was any better, if, if little things like this were taken care of, it wouldn't be a problem. I would say it's a solid nine, maybe even a 9.5 just as a kit as a whole. However, little stuff like this, I don't like. That's just my preference, that's just me personally. If you can figure out a way how to get them to stick without having to modify it, be phenomenal. This, on the sub ohm tank, by far and away, least favorite part. I can't, I can't find a, nothing to complain about. I can't find anything I don't like about the Elf. The Elf is, whoo, it's worth it by, by itself. That's just me personally, that's just what I'm saying. On a side note, if you're an MTLer, this is gonna be worth the kit alone. The reason why I'm saying that is because the 3000 milliamp hour battery on a 1.26 ohm atomizer, you're gonna fucking last all day and maybe even the next day. It's just the amount of power, the, the amount of power you use is so minimal, the battery is not gonna, it's not gonna be drained at all whatsoever. Bitch, it's okay, some of the truckers. Now with that being said, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, notification crew, all that kind of good stuff. Also every motherfucking Thursday and also every single Saturday I'm live. Now of course sometimes I have to switch around stuff on Saturday because you know family stuff, it's Saturday, it's the weekends, it is what it is. But with that being said, live on Saturdays at 9 p.m., live on Thursdays at 10 p.m. Central. Bitch, it's okay, some of the truckers. Now of course leave a comment below, let me know what you thought about the videos. If you're new to the channel, hit me up in the comment section. I reply to every single solitary comment as soon as I can. So with that being said, I get a fuck. Notification. Hit the notification bell, subscribe, hit the like button, all that kind of good stuff, all right? Bitches, now with that being said, I want to tell y'all that I appreciate y'all for vaping with Thesis. It is your boy Thesis. I'm out. Mm. Oh.